and welcome to today's episode of Candid Kaya. Is one of your dreams to one day become a professional cheerleader? Well, tune into this interview with five-year veteran cheerleader Macy to hear how you can become an NFL cheerleader. Stay tuned. Well, hello, Macy. Hello. Let's start with letting the viewers know just a little bit about yourself. Okay. Hey, everyone. I'm Macy. I'm 34 years old, and I'm from Canton, Ohio. I attended the Ohio State University, um, and I moved here uh, about 10 years ago. I cheered for an arena team for two years and an NFL team for five seasons. All right. So she's a pro, y'all. She's a pro. All right, Macy. So tell us a little bit about what inspires you to become an NFL cheerleader. Okay. Well, I've been dancing for my whole life. I started at the age of two. Um, I cheered throughout high school. I danced in college. And I got here and I said, what am I doing? I want to continue my passion. I wanted to dance still. So I looked around and I just so happened to hear this ad on the radio. Um, I believe it was V103. Frank and Wanda were talking about Atlanta Falcons cheerleading auditions. And I said, what? What do you mean? I love football. So I'm going to try out for this team and hopefully I'll make it. But I didn't make it my first time. <laughs> oh, really? I didn't. So that's how I ended up cheering for the arena team two years. Because okay. um, my first time I didn't make it. My second time I didn't make it. Um, and uh, just so happened, a, a Falcon cheerleader vet had come to me and said, hey, I have a team. Um, it's for an arena team. You should come to the auditions. I think you have what it takes. So I did, and that's how I began my cheerleading career. All right. So, Macy, what cheer and dance experience is necessary to make the team? Okay. A lot of people that audition have neither of the two. Really? Yes, like they just come in and they, they may not have to dance, but they've never been on a team or they may have been on a team for like a year. Um, if you want to be on a team, I would say focus more so on your technical dancing skills. Okay. Um, but again, that depends on whatever team you're auditioning for. Um, you can be either of the two. You can be a cheerleader, like tumbling, that's always necessary. Like coaches always want to throw in some kind of trick to the choreography so that can help um, or you could be like a technical dancer and still make the team but really what it boils down to is merging all of these different styles of dance mm -hmm. so um, you kind of want to keep that in mind when you're auditioning and your preparation because you want to go to different classes to make you a more expansive dancer mm -hmm. um, so you kind of can play any role right right okay be versatile. Yes. <laughs> All right. So tell us, how did you manage being a professional cheerleader and working at eight to five? Okay. Well, that that can be tricky. Uh, what it boils down to really is just looking at your schedule, writing everything down, and being prepared. Right. Um, there are times where I just had to have like a black sports bra, black pants and some sneakers in my trunk, my palms in there, and I didn't have time to pack our, our team color that we had to wear for that practice, and I would have to go straight from work, straight into practice, and it might have been hectic, but that's what you have to do. Um, so it's definitely possible. We have everyone from moms, full-time moms, um, full-time students, um, dentists, doctors, anything you want to do as far as your career, you can still merge in with dancing because it doesn't take up all of your time. Right. You have practice about twice a week, mm -hmm. um, depending on the team. Again, um, I, I urge you to research deeply into what different teams ask for, but um, the teams I cheered for, you only have to practice twice a week and then game. So as long as you have your meals prepared your work is done um you can you can manage it okay and clearly she managed it for seven years yeah <laughs> wow what should someone consider before trying out for a team okay um that's important um i would definitely look at what obligations you have in your daily life like is it realistic for you to be on a team um is the commute possible but um i keep saying this but it's so imperative to research. 
like, is this team a good fit for you? Because if it's not, there's other teams out there, you know, um, there within the city of Atlanta, there's a couple of options for girls that really want to dance. Some is not so much on a professional level. It might be semi-pro. Right. So look and see like the time requirements um, that it may take. Um, also, I just would say like be realistic with yourself. Like, is this something that you can commit to do and be on top of your game throughout the whole season? Like right. our season's not just uh, what August through December or January. It's long, much longer than that. Like auditions start um, between April and May. You must train. I mean, you're not gonna just go into auditions like, right. "Hey, I'm here." So you're gonna have to train from January until auditions. Then auditions are in April. Then you have May and June, July with really uh, long practices. So just look and see, like, "Hey, is this someone something that I can do?" Ask someone. Like, if you know a cheerleader, um, reach out to her and say, "Like, hey, what'd you do? How how did um, this team specifically fit in with your schedule? Like, do you think if I'm in med school, if I could do it?" Right. Which actually, we had a med school girl on our team before. Um, she finished out the season, but it wasn't what was best for her. But you have to weigh that option for yourself. So I would say definitely do your research and be realistic with yourself. Okay, Macy, now can you tell us a little bit about what is the audition process like? Okay, that's a fun but long day, honey. Like, <laughs> please get your rest the night before because you will be exhausted mentally and physically afterwards. Um, so pretty much you'll definitely look online and see what time it starts. It may start at seven o'clock in the morning. Um, that's when the doors may open. Um, if you want to audition in the first 20 girls, I would say get there early so you can get there and get your number and be within the first 20. If you know that, hey, I need to retain the choreography first, try and get there at like, you can maybe still get there at seven, but just wait until, you know, there are a couple girls up there and then sneak in line. <laughs> um, that's what I do. I don't like being the first person so I'll be like oh I want to dance between 50 and 75 that's what I like to do so you need to figure out what's best for you bring snacks it's a long day like I said you're gonna be hungry but I don't know if you like carrots chips hamburgers I've seen before <laughs> like bring whatever you want that's going to uh, give you a boost of energy be prepared you can bring makeup to blot your face because you're gonna be sweaty um, you may want to dance in your audition costume before you get there. Um, I had a catastrophe one year, actually last year, I danced in <laughs> my trunks of my audition costume, kept slipping down. It was very embarrassing, but I still made the team, but they knew me. So that might be, you might not be as, uh, as fortunate as I was, but make sure you dance in your audition costume and you have something, um, like extra shoes in case, you know, the floor is slick. Um, bring something to comb your hair because it's going to get um, thrown out of place. You're going to be doing hair whips and body rolls. So um, bring something to comb your hair back in place, extra lipstick, and just have fun. Like stand by someone that's not going to stress you out. Like <laughs> I'm going to find Kaya and be like, hey, girl, I know you from, you know, around the way. You want to stand next to each other and we can help each other out, make mm -hmm. a friend. Um, it helps pass the time because like I said, it is a long day. So be prepared. Um, there's typically two cuts okay. in the first day. And then if you make it to finals, you'll have maybe about three days to a week of um, different things that you have to do, like interviews. Um, you'll have to do a fitness assessment. And you'll also have to do um, some uh, random choreography thrown at you. Like it might be across the floor. It might be something that you'll learn that you'll never use again. Right. Um, it might be a freestyle. So have something prepared, like two eight counts in case they ask you like, hey, I want to see what y'all got. That's the time cheerleaders to bust your tumbling out, um, hit them with the toe touches all of that stuff, bring bring all of that out. Um, and then there's the final auditions, which is the last day and prayerfully you make it. Like 
put your best effort forward, your best foot forward, and I'm sure you'll do your, your best. All right. Those were really great. <laughs> Tips. I love all the lipstick, comb, you, you know, you need all of that. So tell us a little bit about just briefly, what is it like to be an NFL cheerleader? It's so much fun. Like, <laughs> I can't even tell you. It's so much fun, man. Like I've had the greatest times of my life. Like, like I've, what? I've met some of my best friends. I've been in like what five weddings. That's crazy. Okay. <laughs> five weddings. Um, you get to um, network. You, you might pick up a modeling contract. You might be able to um, be on some shows that you never, like, meet. I met Shaq and Charles Barkley on the TNT show. Um, I never thought I would do that. I she was on the news, news, like, every day. <laughs> I was on the news. I was on Sister Circle. Um, but also, like, hey, if your team's good, you might go to the Super Bowl, which... I love football. Everyone's dream is to go to the Super Bowl right. and at least watch it. But I literally stood on the field. Like, that, like, makes me tear up talking about it. Like, that was a dream of mine. Check it off the bucket list. But um, you get to do so many things. And, like, I mean, you meet incredible people. Like, I kind of met her through cheerleading because her sister <laughs> um, and I auditioned together. So, like, I mean, you get to build this huge network of people around the city. And not only that, one of my other favorite things is doing community service. Like, um, I've gotten to experience a lot of things just doing um, service around Atlanta. And I met some, I met the mayor, Kasim Reem, not Keisha. She wasn't mayor yet, but <laughs> um, his wife and his family. It's just a lot of stuff. So I, I'm like, I'm kind of like getting <laughs> emotional talking about it, but um, it's so much fun. I just encourage you, like, if it's really a passion of yours and a dream, to go for it because there's so many positives that come along with it. All right, Macy, now I want to get just a little bit more of your advice. What are your three best tips to standing out during the auditions? All right, tip one, be prepared. You can't be anything better than being prepared. Like, please be prepared. <laughs> um, two, be on top of your game. Like. Don't come in there and they're requiring like a picture of yourself and you're saying, oh, I forgot that. Like have everything together. Have right. your stuff together. <laughs> um, and three, just have fun, man. It's so much fun. Like if you just relax and let the nerves go, it's a wonderful time. So have fun. All right. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Okay. There we have them. So what advice do you have for women who have no experience dancing or cheerleading but want to be an NFL cheerleader? Um, really, you don't know what they're looking for until you just go in there. I would say um, do your research, um, train as best as you can, try to train in a, a, an amount of time that would help benefit you, and have fun. You never know. Yeah. All right. So lastly, what advice do you have for women who are passionate about cheerleading but think they are too old to pursue it? I mean, I auditioned when I think I was 28 or 29 for a pro team. Uh, I mean, the NFL team that I cheered for. And I mean, in the the whole scheme of things, people think that's like too old or, you know, my body's not going to be able to do that anymore. But you really don't know what you can do until you push yourself to the right. limit. Um, I think that Cheerleading has kept me youthful and jovial. Um, so I think just stay in shape. Um, dancing is a way to stay in shape and have for me to have fun. Like some people hate going to the gym and I don't I don't typically like it either, but if I'm going to dance, I'm having a blast. So just, you know, keep pushing for your dreams and who knows, I think this is my last year auditioning for the team, the NFL team. I don't know if I'm going to audition for another team, but I'll tell you one thing. I'm still going to be dancing, so <laughs> um, just have fun. All right. All right. Perfect. Well, everyone, that concludes today's interview. Macy, tell us about anything new you may have coming up. Okay. Um, 
there'll be a couple of clinics going on around the city of Atlanta. If you're interested in dancing, please come. There's so many amazing studios that are open. Um, I'll be uh, helping out with the clinic March 25th. Uh, you can check out my Instagram. Um, it's Mac, M-A-C-3, like the numeral, Stacks, S-T-A-C-K-S. Um, you can also um, join me at Dare Dream Dance Studio, um, Dance 101, which is one of our sponsors. We love you. Um, and I'll just, I'll post some things on my page. And if you see something you're interested in, you don't even have to tell me that you're going to come. Just show up and I'll be happy about that. Happy <laughs> to help you make your dream come true. All right. <laughs> Look at her, the genie, Macy, the genie. <laughs> all right now. <laughs> well, we thank you all so much for tuning in. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them below. We'll make sure that they get answered. And best of luck on achieving your dream of becoming an NFL cheerleader.